Okay, good morning, guys. How are you? We took the lesson on Zoom, but we didn't have enough time to finish uh, the whole lesson. So I'm gonna give you guys uh, what left, what we uh, uh, didn't take during the uh, lesson on Zoom. So good morning, guys. We are here to have fun and to learn. So we talked about this, uh, these two pictures. We said that this dessert. We don't have a lot of resources here, so people prefer to lie to live sorry in the plane just because uh, here we can have enough resources that we need uh, in our daily life these are some of the resources that we can find in the desert cacti uh, soil uh, sand uh, here are the resources that we can find here in the uh, in the plane I think uh, this these resources that uh, uh, people use every day, okay, and this what our body and what we need uh, to have, so people prefer to live here because uh, of the resources. <coughs> now, this city is sparsely populated. We don't have the big number of people, so when we don't have a big number of people in, in a city, we say it's sparsely populated. And the city is densely populated because we have a lot of people. A lot of people living here, so we say that it's densely populated. <coughs> now, which continent is sparsely populated by? Which continent? Is it Antarctica or Europe? Of course, it's Antarctica because people don't live here because it's very, very cold. Okay? It's very, very cold. Uh, so people prefer to live in Europe because it's uh, it's warmer and there are there a lot of resources okay another question here which structure below has a higher population density now if you want to know to calculate which uh, one which structure here has um, a higher population density we some students guys would look at the number of people and they would think that this one has higher uh, population density frankly i need to i don't know so if you want to know if you want to know you're gonna do uh, one thing guys you have to depend on two factors the two factors are you have to divide the number of people over the area of of the structure you put the sum you you get the sum okay then you come to here you divide the number of people over the area of the, of the uh, structure and you get the sum then you compare the sums of the two uh, <coughs> Uh, let's say equations okay the bigger one is going to be the highest the highest uh, population density so we're going to divide if you want to know the population density you don't depend just on the number of people you have to divide divide the number of people over the land area now here are uh, uh, population density in some cities around the world here we give an example um, this is the population density in some um, cities around the world. For example, the highest one here is London. It's 2,818. Uh, after it, uh, Paris, 1,500. Uh, uh, of course, this Euro London here, London here, is the highest populated populated uh, uh, city. Okay, Liverpool. Now, what is the main resource that made the population density of Saudi Arabia higher? What do you think? What's the resource that attracted a lot of people? Attracted your parents, your teachers, um, and some other people, uh, okay, uh, uh, to come to Saudi Arabia, for example. And why do you think that it's it's uh, highly populated? What's the main factor? There is a, now we said that the desert is not is not highly populated, okay. Although Saudi Arabia is a desert, but it's what it's highly populated. What's the main resource that Saudis have that could attract a lot of people to live uh, uh, here in Saudi Arabia? Please send to me the answers with the questions. Read the uh, this is the homework. This is one of the homework. Good luck. See you.